Coming up on this show, we are moments away from revealing the winner of Speed Stars. Standing between our six speedier stars in the title, a Jim Carner shootout. A speed and braking challenge. And in the end, we left with our two fastest stars who take to the track in an epic race for glory. It doesn't get closer than this. This is it, welcome to the season finale of Speed Stars and you're gonna be in for one heck of a show. So over the past couple of weeks, 24 hopefuls have lined up under starter's orders, hoping to reach the top of that leaderboard. At the end of the day, the stopwatch had the final say. Let's meet our six speedier stars. After 12 rounds and 24 hopefuls, we come down to this, our six fastest stars. The fastest South African over 100 meters, Akani Sambini. Fastest man ever over 400 meters, Wade for Nikak. Winner of The Voice, Richard Sturton. Motoring fan and public finalist, Chad Luckoff. Hot property in SA, Maps Maponyani. Center fan and our fastest qualifier, public finalist, Sandra Godino. Who do you think will be our speediest star? Obviously our aspiring racing drivers couldn't wait to head out onto the racetrack. But before they could go fast, we of course wanted them to go safely. So over the course of the season, our contestants were put through some vital driver, road and car safety lessons. Let's have a look at some of those highlights. We killed off a lot of our country's biggest names in our stopping test. I <laughs> cheated and I still died. That's what happened. I cheated and I died. Well, virtually anyway, big lesson learned. We took them to the skip pan for a real world experience of what the anti lock braking system is and how it works. First, disconnected. That's a terrible feeling, isn't it? Yeah. Does you have any control there? No, we just keep going straight. And break it. Look at that. Oh, dude. Okay. That was fantastic. Did you hear that noise? That grrr noise? Yeah. And you felt it to the pedal, didn't yeah. you? You felt the pedal down to that. Yeah. That's ABS. And then reconnected before teaching them the important role tyres play in keeping you on the road by running the cars with an underinflated tyre. She's not scared, eh? She's not scared. You can see she grew up with brothers. So. Yes, it's hectic. It's not responsive at all. So driving requires all of your attention, so don't take that drive. That's right, Dave. We're all guilty of it, and we need to stop. That post, tweet, WhatsApp message, it can wait. Appreciating the relationship between speed and braking is a critical one, and our stars experience this in our speed anticipation challenge. We hope you at home have learned from these lessons too. But back to the finals, our speed junkies are hungry for racetrack glory, but only one can be victor. We'll be giving them a series of challenges, starting with a Jim Carner. The key, to be smooth and not to hit the cones. Yeah, well guys, well done to all of you that have made it into the finals. We've got a couple of speedsters uh, on our hands here today. Very simple today, we're gonna, we're gonna weed you out, we're gonna get down to a final. We're gonna start off here with a Jim Carner and you guys are gonna be going head to head against each other. We're gonna be swapping courses so there's gonna be no advantage one way or the other. I know Wade doesn't like uh, starting in the left lane, so we got Wade in the right lane, but you'll swap over. Guys, I mean, you've come this far. I think this is the, the moment where you need to shine and uh, dig a bit deep and uh, go out there and have fun and win it. The matchups for the Jim Carner head to heads were decided by the order in which they finished on the Speed Stars leaderboard. This meant Sandro Godino, our public contestant and man with the fastest lap time, drew our sixth fastest qualifier, the fastest South African over 100 meters, Akani Sambini. This our friend is in Bravo. Sandro continued where he left off when we first met him in show six. Fast and accurate, easily winning heat one. Oh, 
With the times from both runs being added together, Akani needed an inspired second run to stand a chance at winning this matchup. And it's looking good as he wins it, but is it by enough? Why is it all big? That first one was terrible. Wade and Mups think he's done enough. Our action replay is showing Sandro losing lots of time struggling for grip on what looks like the trickier left side of the course. Mups Maponyani is up against a guy who isn't used to posting the fifth fastest time, the fastest man over 400 meters, Wade for Nikak, and Mups doesn't look happy. Uh, it does seem to be This done. one is more difficult. Wade easily winning that first round. Slow it down, don't be as aggressive on the accelerator, and rather be smooth okay. through here. With them swapping sides for the second heat, it's Wade struggling for grip, as Mups is looking a lot more composed and wins it, but not by much. That's why we're doing it on both sides. So it, it, levels, it levels the playing field. Our final matchup sees public contestant and third fastest qualifier Chad Luckoff up against the man with the fourth fastest time and winner of the voice, Richard Sturton. Richard has drawn that tricky and slippery left side first. Well, now we know what he thinks of that, don't we? At least we had some music to listen to. Mm, clearly not happy, but with the right side running faster, a victory is on the cards if Richard can stay focused. And he wins it, but Chad was damn good on that dreaded left side and finishes close behind. Time to tally the results and announce our winners in round one. Sandro versus Akani. Uh, it's not often that this man gets beaten. Well done, Sandro. Uh, race number two, Chad and Richard. Well, it was close again. Uh, you won singing, but I'm afraid when it comes to four wheels, Chad has pulled through on that one. And, uh, and lastly, Wade and Mops, very close, very close. But yes, Wade, you did pull through. Well done, well done. Okay. We're going into the elimination stage. So you've got three guys. We've got Maps, we've got Akani, and we've got Richard. So one of the three is going to go home. So lots of pressure for Akani, Maps, and Richard going into our next challenge. But while they get themselves focused, our winners from round one, Sandro, Chad, and Wade, have a chance to fast track straight to the final round by winning this challenge. The objective, travel from point A to point B in as short a time as possible. The clock stops once you've successfully stopped the Astra in the box created by the four cones. In the box at least, I think that's the most object. Each contestant will get two attempts at the challenge and will be adding the times from both runs, so consistency is key. Great job, Chad, nailing it. Now what makes this so difficult is judging your speed and anticipating when to jump on the brakes. Brake too early and you lose time, which is exactly what Wade just did there. Now, so what did you brake first and then come off the brake? Yeah, I braked first and then came off the brake, then I went through. But obviously that going through was slow. But you, but yeah. you still stopped it before you got to the No, I was, I was in the court. So now what I think that will give me advantage that I didn't have to reverse. On to their second attempts. Now these times should be quicker as they have a real feel for the brake points and the speed they can carry. Both Sandra and Chad looking consistent. We're on board with Wade for his second attempt. Now having braked too early in his first run, the real risk here is braking too late, but it looks like he has nailed it. Oh no, he hasn't, he's just overshot. That reverse is gonna cost him a win in this challenge. But the Speed Stars journey stops right here for either Akani, Mups or Richard. The guy posting the slowest time, goes home. And first up, it's Akani. We know he is fast, but can he stop? Oh, that's not the start. All the stop he wanted, but quick reflexes and into reverse he goes. Right. I just almost dipped a, bit, a little bit, then I reversed that. You dipped. Oh, you went over. Mm, is that Akani playing mind games with Richard? Will it work? Well, Richard certainly seems intent on nailing this one. And he does, on song. 
All the focus may be on stopping in the box, but you do need to get off the line well and get that 1.4 turbo Astro up to speed. Something Mups has no problem with. And he gets it stopped in the box. Nice. So Akani overshot the box in his first run, but if there's anyone who can handle the pressure, he is your guy. No, that is a bigger overshoot than his previous run. Is our sprint star heading home? Richard was solid in his first run. Consistency should see him safely through to the next round. But a little overshoot is keeping things very interesting in this elimination round. The second run is a tricky one. You have a feel for it, you want to push hard and break harder. Both Akani and Richard fell into that trap. Mups nails it and he's safe. But, oh, he doesn't. That is three from three. And he selected first instead of reverse. He is losing massive time here. Has he just backed out of the competition? Sandra, you've just booked yourself into the final. Yeah, I, I actually, I have a comment on that. Surprise, surprise. You have us against a guy who doesn't smile. <laughs> he's got a shirt that says stitches for snitches, <laughs> right? And you look at his height and he truly lives by life's too short. So he does everything quickly, like, everything is He's the man. He is the man. And over to you, Mike. Yeah, unfortunately, now we get to say goodbye to somebody. And um, who would have guessed the fastest of all of our celebrities before today, Mr. Gear, but it's goodbye to Mops. Thank you very much. Cheers, Thank you very much. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> I'm actually getting oh, emotional. <laughs> Well, sadly, we had to say goodbye to Mups Mapunyani. What a top chap and hugely entertaining behind the wheel as well. After the break, well, things are hotting up. We are one step closer to crowning the winner of Speed Stars. Welcome back to the season finale of Speed Stars. Now, before the break, we said goodbye to Maps Mapunyani and Sandro Godino. He booked his spot straight through to the finals. Before we find out who's going to be joining him on the line, let's have a look at some of the amazing highlights from the season. Whoa. How are you feeling about that? It's the closest right. we've ever been. Is that motor racing? Is that like a thing? Season two had it all. There was bromance. His lips are so soft. <laughs> look at that! That's it. Stars taking to racing like ducks to water. Speed freak of nerd. How much fun was that? I think I'm addicted. Forgot everything they taught me, dude. <laughs> We're the super cool guys. And plenty of girl power. Do you have a can opener? I'd like to open a can of whoop ass. <laughs> I would love to whoop his ass. For the first time, we gave you, the public, a chance at being a speed star. Plenty of action on the track and off it. Hey, my bad, my bad, my bad. Accelerator, brake, clutch. Accelerator, brake. So the brake and the clutch is on the left foot, all right? We taught our stars to be better drivers. Winning was something they took very seriously. More gas, more gas. Oh, more there gas. we go. More going flatter than that. Some found the limits and others pushed past them. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait, you we had international superstars going head to head. Okay. No I crashed so many times. But most of all, we had fun. Alright, let's get started. Jason, you are a great guy. Don't touch my hand! <laughs> So many highlights, what a fantastic season it's been. And just a big thank you to all of our stars who gave up of their time, and also to you, our public, who entered the second season of Speed Stars. We're gonna head back to the Gymkhana now, but this time, it's an elimination round, and we're gonna lose another star. 
with Sandro safely through to the next round, the pressure is on for our four remaining finalists. We're going to put you guys head to head. Uh, Richard, Wade, you go head to head. Chad Akani head to head. But there's, there's a little bit to hope for you. The losers will have one more chance to face off each, uh, against each other. The guy that wins, you, you through to the final. The losers, one more chance. This is it, otherwise you're going home. No truer word was ever said. A pearl of wisdom on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> After such a long day. You're getting into the zone, bro. <laughs> In the zone first up were Connie and Chad. He's doing very well because that's the slow one. Richard's right, Akani doing a great job on that tricky left course. This is going to be close when they switch sides. But Akani blows it, stalling on the line. It's not like him to be left in the blocks. Now with the times combined from both runs, the pressure is off Chad. He is safely through to the next round. Akani a step closer to elimination. Wade is off to his usual fast start, but as has been the trend today, the right course is faster. So it's Richard who takes the win, but Wade has kept it close. Pressure is on Richard as he switches to the slower side. Our aerial shot shows a clear advantage to Wade, but it's going to be super tight on combined times. But Wade does enough to make it through to the next round. Richard Akani, this is your very last chance. You guys are going to go head to head and this time the loser really goes home. Good luck. It's important for both to get off to a good start on this first run. That is not what Akani needs, a two second penalty for hitting that cone. His final run will be on the slippery left course as well. He is stoked, but he doesn't know that he hit that cone. So, he has it all to do in this final run. Oh no, this is so close. Richard just has to stick to the hem sheet. This is nerve wracking stuff, what a drive by Akani. Has he made up enough time to neutralize that time penalty? Connie, you took out a cone and that's a two second penalty. You needed to beat Richard by more than two seconds. You were faster than Richard by only one and a half seconds, so Richard goes through. Set, but cool. Well done. Uh, Richard, you're the man. I feel like that's like, I don't well know if I'm done. happy now. Right? <laughs> like, you still pumped me. Well done, my boy. Uh, as was the case in the first season of Speed Stars, Michelin has again donated 30,000 Rand to charity. But we did things a little bit differently this time around. We created a series of charity challenges, which proved to be massively popular with the stars and viewers alike. Let's have a look at a few of our favorite moments. You are so good at this, Christopher. You're a natural. I believe in you. They got to change tires. Just nip them that they've tight. Got to go head to head in Jim Connors. Got beaten by a girl. Who was I racing? Leanne. Yeah, but you know women drivers, they don't care. Put their race faces on as they went wheel to wheel on our kart circuit. All to win money for charity. Perfect, now accelerate. And, and in. Yeah, and we'll stop in the box now. Break. Good job. We win. Ha <laughs> ha. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, you beat me. That's okay. Oh! oh yes, the competitiveness was real and intense. Nobody wanted to lose. You're not in the box. He's in. Oh, no, you're not in the box. box. But our charities were always the big winners. The game's name is Speed Stars, not Parking Stars. <laughs> Whatever we. <laughs> wow. Park animals. And now for the moment of truth as our four finalists head back to the track and back into the Adam S's for their head to head battles. The challenge two stars, two cars one track in a head-to-head -head race around Swatkorps. Each with their own start and finish line, whoever completes the two laps fastest wins. Okay guys, so we're down to our final four and now we've got to find our winner. But uh, what we've decided to do, we've got two of you guys that have uh, made it through the rounds as guys off the street and then we've got two celebrities here. So we're going to spice things up a little bit for the, for the grand final. We're going to make our two uh, guys off of the street go against each other, and we're going to make our two celebrities go head to head. Well, that's so, a uh, ball, isn't it? That is going to determine who is in the final. Oh, that's a trip. Curveball, but that's what it is. Yes, no, that's. that's uh... 
It's been quite a ride for Sandro and Chad. They made it through our public entry round and into our top 16 elimination round. Blasted through that to secure two of the four public slots on the show. And having posted the fastest and third fastest lap time of the season, they find themselves here in the finals of Speed Stars. They survived today's elimination rounds and now they are one race away from the grand final. Sandro has seemed untouchable from day one, but if anyone has the pace and the composure, it's this man Chad. In this two lap race, it's not the fastest lap time that counts. Win the race and you in the finals. Lose and you go home. And you can see Chad doesn't want to go home, pushing really hard through turn eight, using every bit of the track to eke out maximum exit speed. Sandro is pushing his missions to the max through the tabletop section. Limiter. Concentrate, concentrate. A mid-race pep talk from Chad, and he needs it. The aerial shot showing he's just behind Sandro as they head onto their final lap. Our fast turn four comparison shows just how evenly matched they are. But Sandro has eked out a definite advantage. The aerial shot clearly showing his winning margin. But the official results are still to be revealed. In our second semi-final, our stars are used to the pressure of performing on the big stage. So getting off to a good start is key to settling the nerves for Richard and Wade. But it is disaster for Wade. He just wasn't watching the lights. He's going to have to draw on all of his experience competing at the highest level to regroup and get back into this race. Well, that didn't take him very long now, did it? Now, obviously, with a mix-up at the start, it's going to be impossible to tell visually how Richard and Wade are stacking up in this race. But what we can see are two guys who are super competitive, focus and determination clear to see on their faces. And both are looking really fast. Picking great lines through the corners, carrying plenty of speed and neither putting a foot wrong. This is going to be a close race to call. And into the finals are... Richard, well done. Sandra, well done. You guys have made it. Stitches and snitches. Well done, sports. Well done. Very close between the two of you, actually. Richard, you're doing 23s and you're doing high 22s. Very, very, so you found a lot of time and you found about a second from last time. So this is it. Two laps of the Swakops racetrack to determine who the winner of the second season of Speed Stars is. It's lights out and Sandra and Richard are off. And that's great starts by both of our finalists. Sandro has been the man to beat from when we first met him in episode six. But Richard has gone two seconds faster than the time that he posted in episode 12. The man is on a charge. Yes, Sandra, that's exactly what you're going to need to do to win this. Turning in a little early for turn eight, but carrying great speed through the corner, Richard is on song. One really can't fault Sandra through turns five and six. That is looking really good. As they cross the line at the end of lap one, it is neck and neck. Either can win this thing. One mistake and the race is lost. Oh, Richard going into five a little hot. Is that going to cost him a potential victory? This is turning into the closest race yet this season, and it's in the final. You just can't script this stuff. Just three corners to go. Jonathan Kaplan did it in season one. Who will claim the title of SA's speediest star in season two? Will it be our public star, Sandra Godino? Or will it be singing star, Richard Sturton? Oh, this is it, and the winner is... Oh, that, my friends, is just too close to call. Take a bow, gentlemen. That was a race. What a final.
doesn't get closer than this. 2 minutes 53.062 versus 2 minutes 53.438. The winner of the second season of Speed Stars is Sandro. Yeah, that was close, dude. Well done, bro. The quickest lap was Richard, a 123.162, and Sandro was a 123.815. So you had the quickest lap time, but the combined race, I mean, it doesn't get closer than that, Oak, seriously. It's good TV, eh? Yeah. <laughs> well done. Now, of course, Joining Sandro on that trip overseas with Michelin is one of our lucky viewers. Let's have a look at who predicted Sandro as the winner. Thanks to all of you for entering our weekly Predict the Winner competition, but big congratulations goes to our grand prize winner. You'll be joining Michelin and Speed Stars on that awesome trip overseas. Also joining us overseas is a reader from the Predict the Winner competition that we ran in the motoring supplements of The Star, Pretoria News, Daily News and The Cape Times. Check out this Thursday supplement to see if you were the winner. Michelin also donated 30,000 Rand to charity. It was great to support Arc Animal Centre and the Sunflower Fund this season. As our official timekeeper, our winner received the Fortis timepiece valued at 30,000 Rand. Welcome to the Fortis family, Sunro. What a season. Thanks for watching.